welcome, welcome. This is Amr Ahmed, SayWeb.com, and welcome to part 10. Let's see what we have here. This is part 10, this is a movie, and we have a shape here. The next shape, a shape that's falling, it's falling, it fell too much. It's good it's falling, it's good it's moving, but we all played Tetris before, and we know that it's supposed to stop. So we'll be testing collision. For that, uh, we have the hitbox. Uh, if you guys don't have, you can always create my library. I mean, I, I did set that when I was uh, I started doing Tetris. That's this is the registration point. I'm going to create something like this, perhaps. This is going to be my hit bar. Actually, it's not working the way I want it. Um, let's make this line a little bit thicker. Perhaps ten and. What I, I won't make it invisible for the meanwhile, but just for the taste of um, sake of testing, let's make it like this one. Looks good, looks good. You know what? It could be even a bit uh, larger. I can have a movie tip, and let's go to the main scene. We have a movie, yes, we have a bar here. Uh, why isn't the bar moving? Most likely because the layer is locked now. The background can be locked. And let's move a little bit. And we have a bar. I can make this bar invisible at any time, but since I'm testing, we are testing um, collision, I want to have it visible until we get our program working so we can you know, figure out what's going on. And then when we have it properly working, we can make it disappear, but we will be there. Um, as promised, we have uh, basically uh, nothing but two, three lines of code uh, on our main scene. This is input files. Now, uh, the dropping shape file is one responsible for that shape to move on stage. Now, we want every time there is an increase on the Y coordinate on stage, meaning that every time that falls a bit more, we want to check our moving shape if it is colliding with that hit bar. All right, so what we're going to do, let's create a function. Why not function check hit? And uh, this is going to be void, it's not returning any value. Open brackets, close brackets. And we have the basic structure. It's ready. Right, it's we don't have our function ready, but one thing is for sure: every time uh, our shape falls a little bit, I want to check if there was a hit. Uh, I'm not going to. Go, let's go and create perhaps a variable, a flag. It's going to be a boolean. Uh, a boolean is true or false. Is zero or one? Zero is false, one is true, and let's start creating our let's create our boolean hit and thing in action script is space sensitive column and we can write we have the code hinting it's gonna be a boolean and let's set this to start as false. Why false? Because there's no collision. In general they start at the top of the stage with uh no collision, they eventually will collide either with the bar or with a uh, different shape, but that's where they start. This is a cell file, always safe. And let's move back to the second uh, input file that's the dropping shapes, and let's start coding. Why not? Well, now that we have our flag to check if it is, I mean, just to register if there was a collision or not, we also need to. Uh, um, we set every time it's going to be a verification because uh, it could receive a wrong value from before. Meaning that if it was uh, true and we made the whole procedure before, I mean, we'll be receiving true and then we'll have a loop. Uh, right now I'm setting it to false and, uh, and now we can start to check for collision. Alright, um, let's make sure that we have all correct names. Let's go to the main stage. This is the hit bar has to have an instance name. Uh, everything on ActionScript um, 
has to have, if you're going to access it through ActionScript, it has to have a um, reference name. Um, this is name. Let's uh, copy this. So make sure the spelling is correct. Why not copy if uh, it's fail safe? And let's make a. If it's first of all, let's check for um, the, the collision. Let's say hit past object that's the name of the function see it becomes blue as a reserve word let's open parenthesis and it's gonna check if hit it hit ball like this is a method by the way and belongs to the current shape if you remember we have currently uh, one shape that's uh, inside of the next and we have the current shape which is the one as you can see here that's falling from above now let's put this in the if statement if this condition is true uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to set head to be true because there was a collision equals true now there is a difference in action script a single equal is assigning a value and if you have two equal sign signs one next to the other that's that's in the condition so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to tell um, action script to do that um, if uh, let's open parenthesis it hit which is the flag we use to check if um, there was a collision or not is equals false uh, then you can keep dropping the shape onto stage and every time you drop check the hit again should work uh, let's triple check that everything is in place that's it. the syntax there's no errors all right let's triple check uh, there was a small mistake uh, i put the parenthesis here and this is not a function this is a value uh, but now it's all fixed and uh, this should work meaning that going to drop the shape, once the shape is dropped, it's going to check for the hit, going to reset hit the flag, and uh, if there is a collision, hit becomes true, and when hit becomes true, uh, it just doesn't happen. Let's see, let's see if it's working, uh, we have the hit bar saved, that's movie, and this is shape, this is falling, well, there's a, a, it's working great. Only one small problem is that uh, we want to stop a little bit above this line and collision, it's not in the right place. I can always say that uh, if hit equals false, um, just move the shape a little bit up. Let's see if I can do that. All we can do is uh, instead of typing, you can just copy this. And uh, let's put inside of the condition here. The difference is that it's going to go back 30. And let's save that in Excel file and control this movie. And it should work. This was part 10 of our uh, Creator on Tetris tutorial. Uh, see you on part 11. Yes, I don't have uh, hosting space. Bleep TV is paying me to host by them. So I'm going to do part 11, 12, 13. Thanks for coming. My name is Abe. My site is say-web.com. You're welcome to come. You're welcome to subscribe. It's free. Uh, you don't pay anything. We have sponsors. Uh, they pay. You learn. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching.